Vancouver dipping their toe in. What do you make of the Andre Kuzmenko deal? I love it because it's no risk. And I love that the Canucks are able to now fly a flag and say, hey, this guy is someone that wanted to sign here. We won him. And by all accounts, the uh, job that Bruce Boudreau did helping sell him was a big part of the process with all the teams that were lined up to try and get their hands on Andre Kuzmenko. Everyone could offer the same exact type of deal. It's a one-year entry-level deal. There'll probably be some kind of bonuses that are attached to it or associated with it. But other than that, this was about fit and opportunity. And this is going to be a top six role that Kuzmenko is going to get likely from the start with some power play opportunities to see how his game can convert to the NHL in North America. Okay, so who's about to have the most interesting offseason in the NHL? Because I started leafing through some of the stuff in the middle of a 5 nothing, then 6 nothing, and eventually 7 nothing game. Who, who do you think is about to have the most interesting offseason? Well, I, I think the Calgary Flames are approaching that point, are they not? I mean, yeah. what happens with Johnny Gaudreau? They've made their pitch. They basically said to him, hey, look, We'd love to have you back. It's probably not going to come down to money because their ability to offer the eighth year, I think, stands out. And no team will really be able to come close to that. You'd have to offer 11-4 or 11-5 on a seven-year deal to touch even, you know, eight times ten from the Calgary Flames. So if he's Johnny Gaudreau is not coming back to Calgary, well, then how do the Flames replace him? How do they stay competitive in the Stanley Cup window? And then what happens with some of the other guys that are on their roster? Andrew Mangiapane, Matthew Kachuk is a restricted free agent. They've got two important pieces on their blue line that are unrestricted free agents in Zadaroff and Good Branson. So they've got a lot of decisions to make for a team that had such high expectations entering the playoffs and then sort of went out with a whimper in the Battle of Alberta.